All right, boss, so this is your how-to on this clutch install. It's not super straightforward. It's not super difficult. Uh, there's just a few notes I want you to keep track of on this. First thing you're going to do is pull your entire clutch assembly out. Okay, pull the cover off, take the entire thing out, including the basket. Uh, you've probably worked on these before enough to know in the basket you pull the center out, and then it'll slide over and you can pull the basket out. So that's where we're going to start out. So behind your basket, there is... This washer, it is tapered. The taper points towards the engine. If you were to continue this out into a point, it points towards the engine, okay? And you're gonna find this gear on there like such, where this can move around. The first step in this, flip this gear over, okay? To the way Suzuki did it in a Gen 2, instead of a Gen 3. Now this washer will drop into the groove and stay there, right? Now, I've got a zip tied together set of shims. Those go on top of that and this whole thing slides in. You can go ahead and slide these in and then this and then install your basket again. All right, so that's the main spacing. That's the critical component. From there, you'll install your center hub like stock. Your whole stack of Gen 3 clutches will go right on here except for the outer three. So you'll have a fiber, a steel, and a fiber. I've included those brand new fibers and one used steel okay so you replace the weird really really skinny outside most fibers with one of these then the steel then the fiber okay from there it's just like putting a gen 2 together you're gonna put your hat on I sent you a combination of different springs oh yeah well this goes behind that I know you know that that sits behind there on the shaft. Uh, but I sent you a combination of different springs. We got three Brox Purple HDs and three XHDs. That's going to be a very stout clutch. Uh, that's where I'd start, but really honestly, you don't have the power to need that. The biggest thing with com combining all these out is finding a combination that works for you that's equally spread. So if you decide you want less, what you can do is take one of each of these out and you can set it up. I sent some stockers so that they're all opposite of each other, you know what I mean? Just so you have even pressure. Any combination can be used that you like, but uh, just for your reference, the yellow stripe is the lightest, the purple is the next, and the green is ungodly strong. Uh, then the only other thing to it is there's a spacer plate. This spacer plate has to go between your cover and the case, uh, hence I included two gaskets. I do apologize that some of these are crude. This is a prototype. Uh, the final version, instead of having to stack spacers, will have a new washer at the thickness that I want. Uh, but I need to proof it before I make that investment because that's $1,000 worth of washers, minimum order. And then the covers won't be quite so hand ground and uh, rough. They will be a final cut, laser cut piece. But again, until I proof this out, that's another couple thousand dollars investment, minimum order. So any questions, hit me up. This takes, well, it takes me approximately 25 minutes or so. Uh, it depends how good you are at pulling your side fairing, but it's really not difficult. You just got to pay attention. Uh, when you put the basket in, I'm sure you've done one before. If you haven't, make sure that it engages in the oil pump gear and isn't pressed tooth to tooth against it, because then when you tighten down the center nut, you will break the gear. So just reach your finger up underneath here. You'll be looking at it like this you'll reach up underneath and kind of wiggle that oil pump gear, make sure it rattles back and forth, it's tooth to tooth engagement. But other than that, that's it. Pretty straightforward. Like I said, any questions, hit me up.